Hello and welcome to Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you. I just wanted to talk briefly about three very important things that I sometimes refer to as the three pillars of fascism. Because, hey, you know, overwrought hyperbole is the YouTube way. <laughs> But uh, seriously, these are the three more abusive aspects of the modern economy. They are limited liability, intellectual property, and partial reserve lending. Limited liability is a way for a person to basically become the government themselves. These organizations, these investors, they become the government because even though they have authority that derives from ownership, they do not have the responsibility that derives from ownership. So we can't sue them. We can't hold them accountable. So they essentially become a part of the government, but yet they are accepted from any sort of democratic process because their authority is derived from private ownership. But yet they're not held accountable in the same way that private owners are. So limited liability is a big problem. Uh, number two is intellectual property. This is a series of laws by which we are encouraged to believe we don't have rights that are actually enumerated in the United States Constitution. Uh, copyright is basically an infringement on freedom of speech and of the press, saying that you don't have a right to make copies of something and distribute it. You don't have a right to communicate. Um, patent law is you don't have the right to do things for yourself. Somebody who has done something before you has the exclusive right to do that for a certain number of years, and anything that you do that includes any of that, you have to have their permission, their license, pay them to do. Uh, this is all just ties back to limited liability, basically. It's ways for people to own the right to do something and then not be held accountable again because they are hidden behind a wall of limited liability. Partial reserve lending is a practice whereby the bank takes a deposit and then lends out money that they have also promised to deliver to the depositor on demand. Uh, checking accounts will have a 10% reserve rate uh, because a savings account has a slightly longer withdrawal period of about a week. Uh, theoretically, they can lend all of that out. Um, the partial reserve is so that they can have some money available when somebody actually comes and asks for their cash back. But they believe that for the most part everybody's just going to write checks and everybody's going to trade back and forth electronically. And these debits and credits, as opposed to actual monetary units, these debits and credits can be tracked and eventually supposedly going to work out. In actual practice they have never worked out because it is a lie to say to someone we are going to give you your money back anytime you want it, and then turn around and lend it to other people. Uh, this is all basically an attempt to control the monetary system so they can direct the economy by uh, lending into those parts that they believe are sure things and withdrawing lending from places where they see risk. Um, so those three things, limited liability, intellectual property, and partial reserve lending, are the three most abusive, in my opinion, parts of our economy, and the ones most desperately in need of reform, and, not coincidentally, three things we hardly ever hear anybody talk about reform. Thanks again for watching Christian Labor. Please like, subscribe, comment, click on an ad, or donate from the banner of our YouTube homepage. Thank you very much.